This is how to use the rate stretch tool to change the speed of a clip in Premiere Pro. So right now I'm on my selection tool. If I click on the ripple edit tool, left click and hold it, you can see the rate stretch tool is right here. You can also, if you're clicked on something, just hit R on your keyboard and that'll give you your rate stretch tool. Now the rate stretch tool is very easy to use. You just go to the edge of a clip, either at the end or at the start, and you'll see it'll switch to this little symbol right here. And all you have to do is click and then shrink your clip down and that'll make it faster. And you can see right here, this clip when I did that changed to 209.88%. So the shorter you go, the faster it's gonna be. And then you can also go the other way and stretch it out further to make it slower than 100%, which means slow motion. All right, so when do you actually use the rate stretch tool? Well, I use it for any time that I wanna make a clip fast forward or slow-mo, and I don't really care about the exact percentage that it ends up at, and or when I wanna cram it into a gap between two clips. So for this one, for example, this is the clip that I was rate stretching before. In this situation, I'm gonna bring it up to this level and then down to this layer, and I'm gonna slide it over and match it up. I want this whole clip, but now when I hit the rate stretch tool, I can go to the end and I can just squeeze it into that gap. It'll make it whatever percentage that it made sense to squeeze it in there. So in this case, it was 215.19%. And then I can just go back to my selection tool and move it back into place. But you can also extend the clip to make it slow motion to fill in gaps as well. So let's say you have this clip right there and you're like, I don't really care how slow this clip is. I just need it to be this exact duration. Well, then you just go to the edge of the clip, click and stretch it out. And then you can see it's gonna change it right there to 66.55% and that just fills in the gap. But just know that if you stretch your clip out really far and make it really slow so that it's maybe choppy in the playback, all you have to do is go back into speed slash duration. You can see your speed right there and mess with time interpolation as you see fit to see if you can make it look any better. To learn more about time interpolation or for other Premiere Pro tutorials, make sure to check out one of the videos linked on the screen right now or check out the videos linked down below.